Over to you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at how we can fix or repair a bad sector on a hard drive. Now, if you've got a bad sectors on your drive and your drive is starting to play up, then you can try to attempt to uh, mark those bad sectors as unreadable, and then obviously the data will not be written to those sectors. Let's take a look at a piece of software from Victoria, which we can use to uh, do exactly this. So I'm gonna open this up. Now this is the software here. Uh, when you start it up, you'll have no information here. And up the top, it'll say press passport uh, to init drive. And uh, all you need to do here is come over to the right hand side and you'll see the drives listed here. Now, if you've got more than two drives, they'll be listed all down here. As soon as you click on these, they are now visible. You can see we have a mechanical drive and also we have an NVMe drive on here as well. Now the tabs up the top that says standard smart tests, advance and set up these are your tabs that you've got. And also it gives you information about that drive here. So if I click on the top drive, you can see it will give you some information about the model number, the firmware number and the serial number. Now, if your drive is still under warranty, as some drives do have a quite a lengthy warranty, you can send that drive off if it's starting to fail and get a replacement. Also, disk size here, and it gives you the smart information here and uh, some other information on here. Now, down the bottom, it will tell you uh, the speed of the drive, 7,200 revs per minute and stuff like that. Also, uh, over here, you can see this is the LBA uh, from zero to the uh, maximum of what it is here. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, but we do have uh, some other areas which are called smart readings. And the smart reading will give you the information on the smart of the drive, which will tell you uh, that whether the drive is bad or not. So let's click on the smart monitor here, get smart. And this is the information it's given us. Straight away, it's telling us the drive is in good standing order. There's no problems with that drive. And it says it's green, so that's good. And down here, we'll have the ID, the name, the value, and also the raw and health down here. So looking at the information here, what this tells us is all the information we're gonna need to find out whether the drive is failing or not. So for instance, unrecoverable errors ID 187 will be listed down here and you can see we do not have any unrecoverable errors and so on. So you can go through here, power on time, you can see 3,457 and of course reallocated uh, sector count is zero. So we've had no problems there and you can go through and take a good look here. So you get the temperature of the drive and loads of other useful information on here. So. How do we go about testing this and see if the drive is bad? So we've seen the drive is starting to say good here. Now just a quick test here, by clicking on the test bo uh, button at the top, you'll see this gray area here. And this will allow us to do a surface test of that drive and to find out whether there's any bad sectors on that drive. Now the down here will be the sort of color scheme they're using here, green, orange, red, and blue here. And any of these that are lit up here, like um, from orange, red, and blue, these are gonna tell you uh, whether you've got any problems with the drive and they will be listed on here. We also have the start LBA here, which is starting from zero, and the end is starting at the end here with this big long number. So as soon as we push the start here, this number will start to count down here. So let's get that started. And you can see it will give you some information here about what's going on. And these are your reads here. You can see it's starting to do a surface scan on that drive and it's now counting down. Now, if we do get any red areas or orange or any areas like this showing up on here, um, in this mode at the moment, because we're in ignore mode, uh, what's happening is it's just gonna do a quick check on the drive and this will take a bit of time, but what will happen is it will tell us whether there's any errors on the drive. If there is, uh, what you can do is try to remap, um, remap the error, and you can also restore. You can see here, it will try to write to that un, un, um, bad sector. It will try to write to it and restore and see if you can write data to that sector. If it can't, uh, the remap section will try to remap it and mark it as 
unreadable and uh, no data will be written to that sector. Now obviously you can have a couple of these uh, bad sectors on your drive and the drive may work perfectly fine all the rest of the data on that drive will be working fine uh, but if the drive is in really bad health and it's really running badly uh, clicking noises anything like that hardware issues or anything like that from the drive then this software will not be able to fix it and will not be able to help you so bearing in mind how bad the drive is and uh, whether you want to continue to store data on that drive is entirely up to you uh, now most people will swap out a drive as soon as they start seeing a bad sector you don't necessarily have to if you don't want to if there's only one bad sector and it's in the middle of the drive you can mark that drive as uh, that bad sector as unreadable and continue to use the rest of the drive and it will not write to that bad sector it's as simple as that so if you do want to you can do replace the drive it's entirely up to you but this will all depend on how bad the drive is and what sort of health state it's in so that's pretty much it that's how you can check uh, the drive and also try to fix any bad sectors now there is some limitations like I said for this particular software it's not going to be able to fix a completely knackered hard drive where it can't um, where it's not functional anymore it's not going to be able to do anything like that but if you just got one little orange error on there or something like that you'll be able to um, fix that and it will be able to mark it as uh, unreadable and that's pretty much it so let me just stop this here this does take a long time as you can see here so you will uh, only be doing this if you do have uh, issues with your drive and uh, if you've got issues with your drive then you want to test and this is how you can do it also here you can see end end of test uh, stop spindle uh, loop test hard drive power uh, power off and also shut PC uh, shut down PC so you can uh, change these here and that's pretty much it for this video so I think I'm going to wrap this one up you do have a couple of more tabs up here which I'm not going to cover in this video which are your setup and also your advanced area here but anyway that's about it for this video I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.